today we're heading into Cedar Key, Florida, and we are going to stay here for the next few days. And there's only one road in and one road out, and this is it. We made it to downtown Cedar Key, and we're just going to cruise around and get a feel of the town and just see what we can see. This is the main street that goes through downtown Cedar Key. And on this road, you will find a lot of cute little restaurants and shops and things to fill your day. And it's very walkable. the bridge and heading over to Dock Street which is a historic road where all the restaurants hang over the water out on docks. It's pretty cool. This weekend they are still doing some construction, so you may find that parking may be challenging along this road. This is the Cedar Key Marina and there are quite a few boat tours that go out here every afternoon and I'd like to do that sometime. We've arrived at Camp Tell and we are going to check into our tiny house that we're staying at for the weekend. And this place is really cute. It's almost like a campground full of tiny houses and it has a kayak drop and you can also fish. There's a fire pit and a little general store. It's really nice for just relaxing. Comes with a grill, a picnic table, and let's see what's inside. So here it is. You have a little living area here, a little dining area.
towels, TV, little kitchen space, microwave, refrigerator. And here's the bathroom. Very small and a stand up shower. We'll see how this is going to work because Tressie's not really into stuff like this, but we'll see. I'm going in with an open mind. But the view is pretty cool, I'll have to say that. And this is the bed that pulls out from the couch, and there's linens in the closet so you don't have to lay directly on the cushions. We're gonna head in here and try some of those world famous cedar key clams. There's also a good view from the tops of some of these restaurants up here on the docks. There's a big afternoon storm rolling through right now. There's lightning, so I don't get out of the car when it's lightning, I'm too scared. But if it's like any other typical Florida afternoon, it'll be gone within 10, 20 minutes. As you can see by the blue sky in the background. We're gonna have dinner tonight at the Island Hotel and Restaurant. And a quick story about this. My grandparents took me here when I was a little girl for their famous palm salad. And I've been dreaming about it ever since. So we're finally back and I finally get to try it again. There's a manatee playing the piano in the lobby. And I imagine this lobby looks exactly as it did a hundred years ago. This is the Neptune Lounge in the hotel, and it's super old and super cool. <laughs> right here, a baby at a bar. We are seated for di dinner, finally, and we're looking over the menu, and I'm super excited to be back here, because like I said, it's been probably at least 35 years since I had that dinner with my grandparents here. And here it is, the glorious heart of palm salad. It is so delicious. And some famous clams. cedar key clams. Palm salad, the world famous. Everything is homemade here at the Island Restaurant and tonight the soup is cream of kale and it is just as good as it looks. That's the Apollo pasta with scallops, shrimp, and clams, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, and white wine. And this is the redfish. Picas, piccata? I can't even say it. Piccata. Piccata, thank you, oh my gosh. But it looks really good and it smells really good too. I love that old mail slot in the lobby. It's just so cool here and full of history. Well, I couldn't eat all that food, but it really was good. And I have some to take back to the hotel that we're staying at. So if you find yourself in Cedar Key, Florida, I highly recommend coming to the Island Hotel for dinner. It's really good.
so that's going to be it for this time on my day off. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time on the next adventure. See you later.